God is king. Psalm 9, 7 through 8 explains, But the Lord sits enthroned forever. He has established his throne for justice, and he judges the world with righteousness. He judges the people with uprightness. He is a good and gracious king whose righteousness and kindness is for everyone to see. And we see this all throughout history. A king has the right to do whatever he pleases. That comes with a job. A bad king, there could be horrible consequences. But with a good king, all hope is restored. A good king will care and protect his kingdom. Any rebellion must be dealt with by the good king for the sake of the kingdom. Ignoring rebellion is impossible for a good king to do. Something must be done. We sinned. The Bible has a word for this rebellion, sin. Sin is when we do something God said not to do or not doing something God said to do. The Bible says in Romans 3, 23 that all have fallen short of the glory of God. So every single one of us has sinned. In other words, we're all in rebellion against the good and gracious King. The X reminds us that we sinned. We are all in rebellion against the good and gracious King. Whether we think our rebellion is big or little, the Bible reminds us in Romans 6, 23, that all of our sin results in death. In other words, rebelling against the perfect king requires the perfect punishment. Death. Death on a cross. The cross reminds us that Jesus paid. Hundreds of years ago, Roman soldiers used the cross to put traitors to death and to put down rebellions. But folks, you and I are the traitors. We are the ones who deserve the death on the cross, that traitor's death. But Jesus paid. The good news is that God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son that whoever believes in Him would not perish but have everlasting life. 2,000 years ago, God sent His perfect Son, Jesus, and Jesus walked this earth, this imperfect earth, with imperfect people for 33 years. He never once, never once betrayed His King. He never once sinned. He kept God's perfect law. Yet Jesus paid. Jesus paid it on the cross. He was crucified a traitor's death. He was crucified, taken from that cross, put in the grave for three days. But folks, history tells us he is not in that grave. He rose, and he is now seated at the right hand of God, and he's just waiting to come back for you and for me. But Jesus paid such a great price. Isn't there something that I need to do? Don't I owe him something? Can I pay something or do something? because it doesn't seem quite right. He did this for me. Yes, He did this for me, and He did it for you, absolutely, freely, out of love. And all we have to do? Receive it. And that brings us to our final image, which is a gift. Gifts are great, but they must be received. And the Bible tells us in John 1, 12, that to all who have received Him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. So we have this great gift of eternal life, but it means nothing unless we receive it. And the Bible tells us we do that by turning from our sins and trusting in Jesus as Lord and Savior. Romans 10, 9 says, If we confess with our mouths the Lord Jesus Christ and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, we shall be saved. And that's what we have to do. We have to acknowledge Him as our good and gracious King and follow Him with our lives, make Him our Lord. And we have to trust that Jesus' death on the cross was good enough for the payment for our sin. If you'd like to do that today, you can do that by saying a simple prayer with me. It's not the words of the prayer that save you, it's the intention of your heart as you say the prayer. Maybe you'd like to say something like this, Lord Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner, 
and I know I need a Savior. And I trust that Jesus, when he died on the cross, he died to pay the penalty for my sin. And today, I would like to ask you to forgive me of my sin. My sin. And I'd like to make you the Lord, the good and gracious King over my life. Help me to live for you. Help me to walk with you. Come into my life. Amen. If you said that prayer with me, and you've trusted in Jesus as your Lord and Savior today, we would love to hear about it. All you have to do is scan the QR code right below this video, and it gives you an opportunity to share the good news that you've trusted in Jesus with someone else. We'd like to help you grow. So please take a moment and share the good news with us.